And now finally we move on to what I think is the most um, telltale difference between these two guns, and that is the barrels. Um, the barrel on the FX Royale it has an outside diameter of approximately 14 millimeters, and it is the FX proprietary barrel, the smooth twist barrel, made by FX. Um, the barrel on the Ed gun is 12 millimeter outside diameter, and it is made by Lothar Walter. The barrel on the FX gun fits into the breech um, the way most rifles do, and it secures down with a screw the way most air rifles uh, secure it. The Ed Gun Matador is a completely different ballgame. It is held in place by the, uh, the clamps that secure the Picatinny rail to the air chamber. So it is these clamps that actually hold the barrel in place. And if you look at the interaction of the barrel back to the breech here, it doesn't actually insert into the breech. That barrel is just butted up against the breech. And this is, sounds very bizarre, and I, I thought so too. Um, what keeps air from leaking is that there's an O-ring that fits nicely between the, the interior barrel there and the inside of the breech. So that keeps the air from leaking out. This does have to be replaced from time to time, and you'll know it, that it needs to be replaced by getting a little puff of air in the cheek. No, nothing that's going to hurt you. Just a little tiny puff of air. So before we tear into the guts of the barrels, so to speak, let's look at the shrouds. The guns are probably equally quiet, but the shrouds are very different. Um, the FX Royale shroud is fixed to the barrel. You can get access to the barrel for cleaning and whatnot by taking the, the screw piece off the end here. All the air that comes out the barrel comes out the the hole in the very front there so um, there are no exhaust ports anywhere on this gun the air that flies out the barrel it starts at the breech and ends at the tip of the barrel at the muzzle um, the Ed Gun Matador by comparison um, has a different system there are small holes here in the back of the shroud which let um, the bulk of the air out of the out of the shroud from the back Ed Gun, the maker of Ed Gun says that this increases accuracy by having the pellet fly out the barrel in a vacuum rather than by having the air turbulence behind it. Whether or not that works, I really don't know. Um, but it does make for a different sound in that the Ed Gun has a lower pitch to it as a result. The Royale and the Ed Gun, like I said, are about the same amount of volume, but the Ed Gun has, a, has like a thump to it, whereas the, the Royale has a pfft. If that came through at all, I'll be amazed, but you get the idea. It's a higher pitch for the Royale. And taking a look inside the Royale Shroud here, um, you'll see that uh, there are, um, doesn't have any baffles or anything. It's a very simple design, very easy um, to get in there and clean things out. The Shroud on the Matador is removable. You, know, you unscrew it counterclockwise and it, there are threads uh, on the barrel itself that hold it in place. You can see them right there on the end and uh, I'll bring up a close-up. Uh, let's just make a photo here. I'll bring up a photo. So that's what the threads look like. And using my flashlight here we'll take a look down the shroud of the matador and you can see the um, those are spiral baffles on the inside of there. All right, now let's get hardcore. Um, let's look down the barrels of these guns. I did the best I could with the camera that I had, and I think that I captured some pretty good stuff. So we'll start off with the Ed Gun Matador. Classic rifled Lothar Walter barrel. Um, made Lothar Walter makes barrels for many, many guns. These are especially made for Ed Gun, but they still are uh, the classic variety of, of rifle bar rifled barrel. So here are some photos of it. This is from the breech end looking down. So we're looking at the at, from the butt of the gun forward into the into the breech. Um, and you can see classic rifling and um, and the rifling goes from the beginning to the end. Looking down the FX Royale here though, um, this is a very, very different kind 
of air rifle barrel in that there is no um, classic rifling on the inside of it. What you have here is called the smooth twist barrel. Now what this means is that the majority of the barrel is smooth. There is no groove, no rifling, no nothing. The pellet travels straight down. And at the very end of the barrel, if I recall right, it's the last two inches, they use a method of compressing from the outside and twisting the last few inches of the gun, of the barrel, excuse me, to create small indentations on the inside and a twisted end to the barrel. Completely different than any other um, barrel. So here's a look at the at the barrel of the FX Royale from the muzzle end. I couldn't get a good picture from the breech end once again because uh, I couldn't get the camera in that small chamber. But if you look at this, look at really closely at these photos, you can see how it's smooth, smooth for the majority of the the interior there, which is the the back of the barrel toward the uh, chamber and forward and all of a sudden you see that little bit of twist at the very end. I think I actually captured what the smooth twist barrel is with these photos. I was pretty damn happy uh, when I saw them and um, I'm hope that what I captured is what's actually there because uh, pretty cool. I haven't seen anybody anybody else capture this just yet. So what does that mean for the pellets flying down these barrels? Uh, two very different experiences. Uh, there's only one way to find out. So we fill a five gallon pail with some water and load up the gun and fire it into the water. This is how I recover pellets. Um, first the Royale and grab all these pellets here. And now the Ed gun. Yeah, it's cold out. It's winter. My arm is freezing. Uh, I do this for you guys. So, here are the pellets. Oh, we'll take a closer look than that. There we go. Here are the pellets. And, um, and you can probably guess which are which. We have the smooth twist fired pellets on the left. The Ed Gun Matador pellets on the right. These are 18 grain JSB pellets. They're all pancaked and flattened from the impact with the water. Um, so pay no mind to that. What you have to pay attention to is the rifling grooves on the Edgun Matador pellets and the lack of those grooves on the FX Royale. Now this makes for two really distinguishable things. First off, um, the Edgun Matador needs to be cleaned much more often. My gun um, starts to lose accuracy at about 100 to 200 shots. The rifling in that Lothar Walter barrel really scars these pellets up good. That isn't to say it makes them less accurate, but it takes little bits of lead off each one and that fouls the barrel. In contrast, the smooth twist barrel, you can see, doesn't scratch them or scar them up barely at all. And in fact, when I did my testing of this rifle, now I'll throw up a link here for the accuracy testing, um, I fired a thousand pellets through this gun and the point of impact and the accuracy had absolutely no change. Now that was pretty phenomenal and I gotta kinda give the uh, the tip of the my hat to the FX Royale barrel. That is fantastic to not have to clean the gun that often. 